Good evening, everybody, from Lou Gardens in Orlando, Florida. We're back again this year for Happy Frights and Haunting Nights. A little earlier in the day, we have Happy Frights, not so frightening. And when the sun goes down, we have Haunting Nights. We were out at this event last year, which was its first year in existence. We had a blast last year. It's not a very frightening event, so it's not no, Halloween it's Horror Nights. It's not Hollow Scream. It's a lot of fun. For some of the youngsters, there is some trick-or-treating involved. Also for some of the adults. <laughs> and they give you this whole event guide when you come in. There's different homegrown characters that they have here meeting along the way, which is pretty awesome. Clowns. Oh, and they have a Minotaur this year. Snacks before you go in. There's beverages as well. It's a delicious dinner of french fries. Mm. And so, the sun is setting. The creatures are stirring. It's time to get our haunting nights on. Darkness has set in. Ooh, we've made our way in. Spooky. It's the bayou of beast. <laughs> Smell a vision, it smells like hay. <laughs> Oh man, that's a big snake. Oh wow. That's pretty cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> piggy, piggy, piggy. There's a pig man in there. Oh, that's a bigger snake. That's a giant frog. Oh, here's the head of the snake. Wow. I don't oh my god. There's a man in the bush. There's a creature. Whoa! Let me just trip over that. <laughs> we made it through oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, this is so much different than last year. Oh look at It's like a tree and <laughs> it's spooky music. We may be heading into the Day of the Dead. It's a beverage station. And the crazy carnival is back there. From out of nowhere. Hi, I love your hair. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh my. Wow. Whoa. We've made our way to Orbit Breakers. There's a UFO that's crash landed over here. And there's a show that happens in between these lights over here. Spooky lights. Spooky UFO. So the tree lady that we saw is named Willow. And the gentleman with the windswept hair is named Ringmaster. Very Jeff Hardy-ish. That's what you do not be alarmed or rain coming because do not attempt to leave the dance for us. I'm number one. And 
we're back on the path. Halloween facts. Halloween's origins can be traced back to the ancient Celtic festival of Samhain. We're entering the Scarecrow Summit. It's a playground made out of straw. Also, this is the uh, Dwight Schrute section of Haunting Frights. This guy has lost his head. Oh, he's a cute pet. Pet possum, living or dead. Jack-o'-lanterns. You could do a commemorative photo over here with the cauldron in the background. And we're going into a witch's area. It's the brew bash. So cool. <laughs> Onward to the crypt. You can pose in the coffins. Oh, it's perfect for us. On to monarchs and marigolds. Look at these creepy butterflies. Gonna head into the crazy carnival. Hi, <laughs> welcome everybody. Welcome everybody to the carnival. <laughs> Is it crazy? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my. That one's kind of like Ronald McDonald-like. That's like Bozo. Bozo. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> oh my. into the spider's den. Was a big spider. I know. That was crazy. It's, it's a crazy carnival. Oh boy. It's a big spider egg. <laughs> Carnivorous Kingdom. Brought to you by Twix. Just kidding. Feed me. Feed me. 
Yeah, this is really impressive. It's a little touch, but they have the good smelling fog too. These are my favorite. If you know, you know. Oh, look at this. What is this? It beckons me. Yeah. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Man is bush for the MVP award. What a pretty and serene gazebo and oh my oh my god. It's the Garden of Gargoyles. It's the day of the dead. to electric wings. These bats are ready to electrify your party. All right, a little maze craze time. The labyrinth. not go the other way. No. Oh, it's a man in the bush. <laughs> we were out and now we're back in. Hmm. I'm feeling like this is never gonna end. Oh! <laughs> oh it's two monsters in one spot. <laughs> All right, so that's it for the event. All right, so we're gonna get out of here. Some quick thoughts. Uh, I'm gonna be completely honest. Uh, I did think this event was better last year. Um, there were certainly a lot more actors last year through the event, uh, and some of the decorations I think were a little bit more robust. I will say I don't think that this was a bad event because there were certainly things that I liked better this year than last year. Mm -hmm. I like the gargoyles section. Oh, that was my favorite. I really like the witches section. The cannibalistic plants that was pretty cool too and I really like the way that the event flowed this year so yes. it was all just one path and one walkway through so it's kind of like you're just walking through the park excellent yeah that was that was a good call on that but it was very sparse 
and by very sparse you guys just watching the video you can see there's a lot of dead space so we're looking at the brochure of the characters that we are supposed to meet that they give you and when you come in some of it's a little off because some of these characters you only meet during happy frights which is the earlier version the not scary version and then some of them are only at haunting nights but disappointingly um we missed the minotaur the night creatures and the minotaur the minotaur is what we want to see the most that guy looks like he kicks ass <laughs> um I think I saw a night creature though. I think I did in. Um, I think, oh yeah, I think the I piggy did. guy. Oh, so we did see one piggy guy. All right, yeah. so we really just drew zero on the Oh, Minotaur. we didn't see. Um, oh, and we didn't see Bigfoot. Bigfoot's no. in there too. So, um, we missed Bigfoot. Overall, fun. Was it as fun as last year? Um, the jury's out. <laughs> I think it's a cute event to take your family to, and it's a family-based event. This is not Horror Nights. It's not a local haunt. It's no. not Hollow Scream or anything like that. Um, but it is a place you get out. You walk around the park. The park is beautiful, and it is well decorated. I just think the um, costumes you know, are amazing. Yeah, the costumes are too. awesome, and we didn't see any trick or treat stations either. But um, one was being wheeled away. Yeah, <laughs> they did give you the bag. You just walk around with the bag, but. Um, I would say, like, if they combine this year and, la and last year, and they look at year three for this, mm -hmm. I think that there's a lot of opportunity for stuff like this, because there's not a tremendous amount of family-based alternative events mm -hmm. that you could do both during the day and at night, and the closest thing I think of was, like, Mickey's Not So Scary, SeaWorld. and SeaWorld during the day, you know, with the massive crowds and things, or mm -hmm. Legoland and stuff, and this is a little bit more local-based type thing with support yeah. local business, but in any event, we enjoyed it, um, I'm just trying to process whether I enjoyed it as much as last year or not, mm -hmm. so on that note, we're getting out of here, thanks a lot for coming along, thank you very much for all of your likes, comments, and subscriptions, treat others the way you want to be treated, have a great night, we'll see you guys.